In this video, I will give you a store tutorial of Selfie. So basically how you can create your store, design it, customize it, and actually sell your products on your Selfie store. So I'll go over everything you need to know in order to get started. So Selfie is one of the best e-commerce platforms out there. And in my opinion, it's especially good if you want to sell digital products or if you want to use print on demand because they offer print on demand, digital download and subscriptions. So I wouldn't personally use it for dropshipping or basically selling physical products that are not print on demand because if you want to do that then my preference is Shopify but basically I'll just show you how you can actually use Selfie. So I'll leave a link to Selfie down in the description and that is my affiliate link. It's of no additional cost to you to use that link to get to this page. It will save you some time and I would really appreciate it if you sign up through that link. So after clicking on that link click on start 14 day free trial right here. Then you will get to this page where you can sign up manually by entering these details or you can sign up with Google. Then you will get to the onboarding right here where you can first choose your store URL, although you can later change this if you want. Then what products do you intend to sell? I would use it for either digital downloads slash streams, digital subscriptions or print on demand products, although they also offer physical products. Now for this example, I'm going to be picking digital downloads since I think that's the most popular option, but you can also pick multiple of these. Then click next and then what is the link to your primary social media account or website? Now you can skip that by just clicking next and now how would you categorize your store? You just want to gonna select a category. For example, I will select finance and then click start 14 day free trial. So using the link down in the description, you don't even need to add a payment method in order to start your free trial. You can just get started right away. So now I will show you how you can actually build your store. But the first thing we need to do is to add a product. So I'll quickly add a product. And in this case, I will do a digital product, but you can pick any of these. And I'm just gonna do a digital product. Let's say I have an ebook, then I'll just upload that right here. So just gonna fill in all the details such as the product name, description, the product category, you can add a preview, the price, the stock, etc. And then click save product. So now you can click view and store. However, what we are going to do first is to go to home here and then click customize your store and then click customize store. So now here again, click customize store. And now we are actually going to use the store builder to create our self high store. So this is the store editor right here. And the first thing that I recommend you do is to go to store settings and then click general settings. And here first choose the store name and logo. You can also upload an image for your logo. Then to choose the store features right here. And then once you have filled all of this in, just go and click on store style right here. And now here you can choose the store theme. So if you click browse themes, they have a couple of free themes that you can simply pick. Now let's say that I like this one right here called Savant. Then I can click apply theme and then click apply. And now you will see that I have this theme on my store. Now here you can choose the background color, the container corners, and you can also choose the bottom colors, the text colors, the bottom corners and stuff like that. So you're just going to enter your basic settings here and then we can actually get started with the actual store. Now the first page that I would like to edit is the product page. So I will click products right there. Now here you have your basic product page. So you will see your modules. So you have the navigation, which is this part and the product, which is this part and the footer, which is this part. Now I'm going to start with editing the product section. So here you have the bottom color and all of that stuff you can edit in the store settings, which I just went over. But for the content style, for example, here you have this title. Now you can change this text color if you want. For example, if I make this blue, you can see that now this becomes blue. So you can go ahead and change any of these colors to whatever color you want, basically. And then it will be edited right there. Now you can also choose a background for the module. So if I add a dark overlay, for example, you'll see it right here. And you can see the background color is currently black. However, the opacity is 0%. So if I would make this 100%, you can see that now you can see it. So you can just make this any color you want. For example, I'll take purple here and, and make it 20%. Now you can see it has a slight purple background. Now I will do a little bit less, for example, 15. And now you can see it right there. You can also upload an image for the background if you want to do that. So then in order to actually change any of this text, and by the way, you don't need to worry about the images because that's just the product images. So this is just a basic template to give you a preview. But for this text, for example, this is also just a template. So for each specific product, for example, if my product is called ebook, then right here it will say ebook. Then the description I add to that product will be shown right here. So all you need to do here is just change the basic outline. So choose your 
your colors, background and the stuff like that. So then you can also preview it on tablet and mobile right here so that you can see what it looks like right there. And now once you have done this page, you want to move on to the next page. So for example, you want to do the home page here. And let's say I want to change this image. And what I can do is click right here and then click on change image. Now I can upload any image if I were to want to upload this one. You can now see that it changes to this image. Now here you can kind of change the image position to where you want it to be. Now this of course does not look good. You want to make it a bit smaller, but this is actually a background image. So therefore it takes up the entire background. Now if you want to undo anything, then you can do that right here by clicking on this little arrow and you can see if I do this a couple of times, then the original image will come back. So you will see it right there. So then here you have the product. So this is the preview image that I uploaded for this product. Then I just named it ebook and made it $10. Now this looks really nice. It's kind of like one of these cards. Now if I want to change this background here so that it becomes more visible, I can click on it. And then for example, I can pick this purple color and let's say I want to make this 25%. Then you can actually kind of see the card outline. Now I'll make it a little bit more for example 35 and then you can see it like this so in my opinion it looks really nice now here you have for example a newsletter now if you don't have a newsletter you can just click on this little section and click delete and now that will be removed so just gonna change whatever you want for example if i don't have an academy then i can also join this and now here you can add your own image add your own text you can remove any of this content etc so once you're done with the actual store editing click publish and then it will be published. So now I will quickly preview it. So click view in store. And now here you have our store. So this is the actual product that we have. And now if I click on this product, it will take us to the product page. So you can see the title is now changed to whatever you named it. And I didn't add a description, so therefore it doesn't show a description. But now people can click add to cart. And then when you click checkout, you will see the store checkout is in test mode. So what you want to go and do is leave the store customizer right here and then go to home and then click Connect Payment Gateway, Connect Payments. Now I recommend setting up both Stripe and PayPal so that you can actually accept as many payments as possible. And this is super simple. It will only take a couple of minutes. So then you can actually select your plan. So as you can see, they have a couple of plans right here. And if you pay two years, it starts at only $19 per month and there are no transaction fees. So it's pretty cheap in my opinion. So again, I'll leave a link to Selfie down in the description and that will take you to their homepage where you can create your account completely for free, no payment methods required. And then in order to actually create your store and sell your products, just follow the steps that I showed you in this video. So if this tutorial was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.